than originally anticipated. Researchers say that Pearl gives the user a 15-minute out-of-body experience, or OBE for short, and renders them to a zombie-like state. Addiction is highly prevalent, as further studies show the extremely hazardous long-term effects to be catatonic. Moreover, the cited cases of overdose have directly resulted in vegetative states. What? Are you... what? Somewhere in Southeast Asia, police have had no leads on how or when this bizarre new substance has become available in our streets. Crime has risen, with gang violence and illegal trafficking increasing as a result. We've got an epidemic on our hands. Crack cocaine? Forget it. Pearl is what we need to be worried about for our kids. very same as returning to nothing. And as we all know, in life, one's living is a dying. That being and nothing unite as becoming. Yeah, becoming bored. <laughs> <laughs> mentioned that, Jimmy, very on point. Class, as we saw earlier, with every thesis, there is an antithesis, which in turn creates a synthesis. The synthesis is a resolution of any tensions that might exist between a thesis and antithesis. Any questions? between us, how would you resolve them? Oh, um, <clears throat> well, I mean, that would be, uh, with that, uh, um, uh, that's all for today. Thank you. Are you sure you don't want a coffee? Haven't seen him for at least five years, and there he is, standing at my door. Spying on you? Who is this guy? Reuben Goldstein. We've known each other since we were 13 years old. Used to be best friends. Used to go out drinking together quite often. Partied a lot. You party? Please, I don't think I've, uh, I don't think I've ever seen you out past 10 p.m. He's the reason why. So what are we talking, like a philosophy trivia party or something like that? Sorry. Uh, no, really partied while we were in school for years. It's a blur, I don't remember most of it. But something happened and uh, I had to cut him out of my life to get back on track. Got sober. He took it really badly. I regret the way it happened, but uh, had to be done. Well, is he, is he still pissed at you? Like, are, are, you, are you in trouble, or? I don't know. Well, I hope you aren't. I mean, it's tough to find a new squash partner in this day and age, <laughs> Colin. Ready to take off? Yeah. And then I said to him, Alan, you have to consider that the banalities of contemporary neoformalism have actually gestated to the point where they now dictate its very identity. There's just simply no room for a new narrative in such a traditional and restrictive form. Oh, well, sure. Um, and what did Alan say to that? Whose work did he paraphrase this time? Exactly. He's always regurgitating someone else's opinion, this time Zakovsky. I would have asked you to come, but I knew you'd say no. You always say no to everything. Well, go on, Leslie. Ruben. Uh, it's been years. What's up? Yeah, man. 
Don't worry, I remember. Uh, what can I help you with today? I need to talk to you, privately. Leslie, who is this? It's fine. Um, as you can see, we're kind of in the middle of something. Meet me tonight at the bar. You know the one. I'm sorry, I don't, uh, I don't frequent places like that anymore, so no thank you. Be dear. I feel bad. You shouldn't. You said you weren't going. Uh, but we have a history. I don't think you realize how close we were. Practically best friends. He's never needed me for anything, ever. Why have I never heard about him? And why haven't you talked to him in five years? We just grew apart. Can we plan on me staying over Friday night, too? They're fumigating my neighbor's place. Yeah, sure. Good night, Leslie. See you last night. You're gonna harass me every day now? This is my place of work. That is up to you. I just want to chat. Is that all right? I'm listening. I'm starting a youth center in the old hood. I was hoping you'd help me out. It was a personal favor to me. Oh. Okay. Uh. Here's the address. Meet me there at 10, Zane. I'll see what I can do.
Yes, King. Thanks for coming. Oh, sure. There's a nice youth center you've got here. Many youth. Much youth. Mind telling me what the hell's going on here, Ruben? All right. No more bullshit. You never would have come if I told you it was a bar. You're right. She had to resort to lying to get me here. It's my little brother, Les. He's been missing for a week. Saul? he had been working for a powerful drug lord, Feng. The one responsible for the Pearl epidemic and turning the city upside down. Jesus Christ. The one that's been on TV every day? Yeah, man, every day. Saul had been trying to save some money to get through school. Just selling some dope on the side. He left me a message last week. He said he was in trouble with Feng and he was scared. And then he just disappeared, vanished. I know he was kidnapped. Did you call the police? Police can't do shit. Feng's operation is tight. No one gets inside. Plus, Saul was selling. Cops won't care. Young black drug dealer gone missing? Come on, them up about it. Okay, um, how do I fit into this equation? Feng is well protected. The only way remotely close to him is by winning his underground tournament. Every six months, he hosts a mysterious competition. No one knows what the challenge is until it begins. So you have to show up prepared for anything. If you come with me, we stand a much better chance. You have a different skill set than me. You always look at things more academically. If we get in close, we can get some info and hopefully get back Saul. So you want me to enter a tournament with you? That's what this is about. It's much more complicated than that. First, we need to find some invitations, and that won't be easy. You remember the promise you made me? Yes. That if I ever needed anything you owed me, and you would come true? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Long time ago or not, I saved your ass and you made a promise. I mean, I'll have to think about it. All right, come help me with something. I want you to see how real this is. Tony, well go on, Spider. Hey, Reuben, what's up, man? Same shit, different. Oh! Uh! You sell drugs for Feng just like me, brother. As soon you do it, tell me everything you know about Feng's operations. How do we get in? <laughs> oh, I don't know nothing, man. I sell food and crap for him. I never even met Feng. I fucking swear. Tell me, Leslie. Is our friend telling the truth? Oh. It's your call. <coughs> I'll do it. I don't know. Isn't this guy your friend? Why would he lie to you? Mm. <sighs> Mm. All right. No hard feelings, Tony. What you think, Les? I want you to understand. This is serious. Saul needs us. I never asked you for anything before. You can harass me every day if I say no? Every day. I'll stop at nothing to get Saul back. I need your help, just like the old days. This is my brother, man. Used to help him with his homework, remember? Yeah. We need to be dear for him. If you say no, you turn your back on him. When you put it like that, what choice do I have? Promise is a promise. All right. Just one just to make it official. <sighs> to make it official. Oh. Zine. Going nowhere. Going nowhere fast. Cause you're
Can you hear me? We're looking for a pair of invitation to the tournament. Feng's tournament? Now that will be hard to find. Can you help? Working in Feng's restaurant, you must pick up some tips here and there. I don't know. Last year's tournament was insane. Six people were killed by tigers. And the time before that, he had the losers branded after a bare knuckle boxing match. Feng is batshit crazy. Ruthless. I don't want anything to do with it. Why do people even enter if there's a chance of dying? The winners get $30,000. Only lowlifes who are crazy enough to participate are invited. And mobsters, drug dealers, and criminals are invited to bet on the action. It's all fueled by Pearl. I want to help, though. I owe you. I'll rub shoulders with these people and see what I can do. Thanks, Tiger. Keep an eye out for us. Let's go axe around. You Good kid. Let's give and take You're a heavy You're so hard to break What the fuck? Did you hear me? I can't let go No, I won't let go Talk Did you hear me? I can't let go No, I won't let go So don't you What do you know? I didn't hear about the tournament. What do you know? Uh... Howdy, partner. Oh, hi. Your associate over there chatting with my associates? Uh-huh. Well, I got news for you. That makes us associates now. Oh. Well, that's good to know. I'm Nora. I appreciate the follow-through in your cowboy costume. It's... Cowgirl. Cowgirl, sorry. So do customers make a special request for that, or...? No. I do what I want. I wear what I want. I be who I want. Some days I'm a cheerleader, some days I'm a cowgirl, and other days I'm just playing on me. So you could say today was spur of the moment. Quit horsing around. So, um, where are we gonna wet that whistle of yours? Oh, no thanks. Uh, probably get in trouble with the sheriff for that one. Don't need my PhD to figure that out. What do you mean? 
I mean, this isn't my first rodeo. But you're hot to try, baby. Look, I don't want what you're selling, okay? And what exactly am I selling? I mean... I know you're not a cop, because I know all the cops. Plus, your breath reeks of booze. I just wanted to talk. Is that so wrong? Do you think you're better than me? No, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I just figured it's 2 a.m., you're dressed like a cowgirl, it's 1989. I know what you're trying to do, and it's not gonna work. You can't just expect to get invitations and just waltz in to meet fame. That's not how it works, trust me. What? That's a great way to get yourself killed. Do not do that. Who are you? How do you know this? Well, giddy up then. Adios, amigo. Who was that? Uh, your colleague, Nora? We don't know her. Never seen her before. What was she wearing? <laughs> Thanks for the tips, ladies. Thank you. Bye, Leslie. What did he say? No idea. Tiger. So, you have anything for us? This tournament is very, very exclusive. Yeah, man. Everyone knows about it, but nobody's talking. We have nothing. We don't have shit. I've been getting deeper with the Sanyon Triad. I hear things. Oh, really? Go on. I've got a lead that might help. There's someone you need to talk to. Do you remember Finn? Finn? Finn. Are you? Fangs tournament. Invitations. We need two of them. Hey, well, uh, there's no need for any trouble. Uh, I, I, I know I still owe you. I haven't forgotten. Shit. Look, I could get in a lot of trouble for this. I'm sorry to, to hear about your brother. Bunch of big wigs already got their invites and, 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 and they're not going to give them up so easy. I was there when X got his. And you know his deal. Yeah. Good, Ruben. Are we good? Ruben, is it settled? Ruben, I didn't tell you. That right there is X. This is X's block. He controls all of the movement in the area. If he didn't have a record and could leave the country, he'd be playing pro ball in the league. Guaranteed. He's the best. Too bad I haven't played basketball in years, huh? Remember how much fun we used to have? We were good back then. Now I just play squash. It sucks. X is the one with the jerry curl hairdo. He still rocks that greasy hairstyle. Refuses to change it. 
So the only thing X loves more than shooting hoops is gambling. Good boy X. We're gonna play for your invitation to the tournament. Excuse me? First to seven. <laughs> Did I stutter? We know you have two invitations. We're gonna play for them. First to seven. <laughs> Come on now, Ruben. I know you used to hoop, but <laughs> that was years ago. I can't be bothered with this shit. I ain't giving my tickets up. Be gone, wannabe. You and the chump you're with. <laughs> we win, we get the invitation. You win, you get me care. Hell, man. Are you for real? The turbo? <laughs> First to seven. You scared little pom pom? Oh, pom pom. <laughs> injection, over 300 horsepower, club sport. <laughs> Porsche, there is no substitute. Nice shot, buddy. Give me the back, give me the back, give me the back. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Nice shot. Too easy. <laughs> you see that? You see that? <laughs> oh, now, check it. Or Ruben, this is how you want to go out? Check it, check it. All right. Light work. Light work. I won't even have to break a sweat for the finest in German engineering. <laughs> Goddamn right I knew. I'm just shotgun. Shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Check the ball. Honestly, man, Ruben, you thought you could come down here and win with his goofy ass white boy? Oh, it's about color now. We doing that? Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah,
Yo, my man, y'all must be tripping if you think we're letting you leave here with that. You forget where you are? Nah, 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 nah. Let them go. They won fair and square. All right, man, respect. Ain't nobody beat me on these courts in years. Enjoy the tournament, Ruby. Even though you did, Connors. Let's make sure your boy here bites his tongue before he loses it. Zian. That was fucking crazy, man. How'd you know we would win? I almost lost your car. Hi, Leslie. It's Marnie. I haven't heard from you at all the last three days, just wondering what's going on and why you were ignoring me. Heard you've been skipping out on your lectures, too. I'm worried. Call me back. Hey, Leslie, it's Caleb. Uh, didn't want to sound like a dork or anything, but uh, just noticed you haven't been around for uh, a couple days. Uh, yeah, just wondering if you're okay, if you want me to bring you by some uh, chicken soup. Uh, let me know. Talk at you. We're close now, Sal. You won't have to suffer much longer. So, that's what you've been doing for the last three days? Yeah, basically. Well, you're probably gonna get fired. I talked to the dean and I, I vouched for you as best as I could and he likes me because of the computer club, but you didn't even call in. Yeah. Or tell anyone or do anything. Like, these kids have exams coming up. It's, it's important, it's their education. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that I don't care. It's just that I have something else that's more important to take care of. I should call in, though. You're right. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow. Thank you for, for talking to him for me. Yeah. No. Sorry, did you start wearing contacts? No. So, what's the deal with that? Your prescription's stronger than mine. Yeah, not really sure. Normally, I can't see anything without my glasses, but the more I drink, it makes me feel sick wearing them, so I don't. And it's fine. Bit of a scientific breakthrough here. You want to publish this? Get famous? <laughs> hey. I'm ready. Sorry, man. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Drinking and having a good time. You? Prescription's not the only thing that's changed. You're acting way differently. I feel great, man. I feel the best I have in years. You might be onto something, though. You know, by nature, I overanalyze everything to the point where I have zero impulse, you know? Everything needs to be a certain way, and if it isn't, I say no to everything. I'm obsessively compulsive, you know? You know that. I hate it. When I'm drinking, I can say yes. In many ways, it allows me to do things that I'm not able to do normally. It's bizarre, but I feel almost medicated. Well, sure, I 
I understand. Everyone uh, needs some liquid courage now and again. But look what's happening to your job. Oh, and Marnie keeps calling me. Uh, have you talked to her? Nope. Come on. <laughs> Be a man. Call her back. I mean, I always, always kind of see you guys as brother and sisters, but <laughs> it's, it's still not right. It's not right, man, OK? All right. Call her back. Talk to the dean. See if you can get a leave of absence or something. Plus, you know, I've had no one to play squash with. Roger, it's brutal. OK. All right. I got to wake up early. Dear Take care of yourself, okay? Yeah. Talk at you. All right. All right, nice seeing you, Caleb. Having some fun, Leslie? I got the invitations, man. So, our work has just begun. There's no celebration when Saul's still missing. We got lucky today. Yeah, today was fucking crazy. I'm letting off some steam, is that okay? All right, Zane. Tomorrow, we need to start preparing for the tournament. It's only a few days away, and we need to be ready. Yeah, no duh. Dance off? No chance, homie. Dance off? These guys seen breaking one too many times? Electric bugaloo much? And fuck you. And what's that warrant to you? Care to make it interesting? Yeah. I got ten grand right here that says y'all ain't shit. That's right. Ten G notes. Come on, man. You don't have that type of cash. Not that's a bar. 
That's okay. We'll just battle you for those invitations you got earlier. Yeah, don't worry how we know. Just know we want them. Ten grand on the table. It'll be easy, man. Ten grand. What? No way. Not a chance. We can't lose, man. Remember what happened earlier? This is our day. No, Leslie. Dude, I haven't been to work all week, OK? Caleb says I'm probably going to get fired. I need this money. This is easy. Look at these guys. Jokers, man. Don't be an idiot. We need these. Well, yeah, but we can have both. Simple, easy, just like old times. Don't get carried away. Stick to the plan. Relax. Walk away. I can't relax, man. We can beat these guys. It's easy. Oh, we got this, man. You don't Yo, come this. off me. I'm sorry. Not this time. OK. All right. I'm sorry, too. You're on. Leslie! Looks like it's on like Donkey Kong. What the fuck have you done? Yo, relax. It's nothing. These guys are chumps. These guys are talking out of their asses. You know this. Easy. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Looks like we have an unsanctioned event right now. Right here. Get it around. Let's go! Think me, I idiot. <coughs> What's up, guys? Can we help you? Give me back the invitations. You cheated. We know those bills aren't real. Man, we ain't cheap. We just hustled you. There's a difference. The only difference is whether you're able to walk out of here or not. You decide. Man, suck my dick. Oh, I bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, look, this is your opportunity. Give me back the invitations. We don't want no money. Just give us what's ours, and we'll walk away. Good job, guys. Real good. It's not good enough, though. Man, you guys are such fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Put the bag down, Rastaman. Put the bag down, or I slit his throat. Put it down! I used to fuck guys like you in prison. <laughs> See, you never punk. Jesus! Is he dead? 
it? Never actually fired this weapon before. It was just for intimidation. What the fuck did you do, man? What did I do? What did I do? You made me do this. We need teeth the invitations from a jacket. This is your fault. I can't fucking believe you, man. You're out of control. And why is that, Ruben? Why is that? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be drinking a fucking nine in the morning. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be losing my fucking job. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be watching someone die in the fucking subway. Let's see. We need to go. They never found the body last night. We're in the clear. What do you mean? Talked to my friend on the force and nothing came up, so... I can't keep this up, Reuben. I know. I can't keep this up. What now? I'm gonna see this through because I do owe you. All those years ago, when you took the heat for me, I never really got a chance to say thank you because I would have been expelled and I obviously owe you my career. Which is funny now because I'm out of a job. We're gonna get Saul back and then you and I aren't gonna see each other anymore. We're through. I obviously can't handle it. You enable me, Ruben. You're an enabler. All right. The tournament's in three days. Let's get to work. All right. I heard through the grapevine that this time the tournament is some sort of gladiator challenge. There'll be various weapons, exotic animals, and deadly obstacles. Last man standing wins. And I can't be sure. Feng is a maniac and unpredictable.
Where's Tyga? I don't know. We need to chat with him before tonight. Let's go check his parents' laundromat. Tiger! Tiger! What one? Tiger? He's been like this since last night. He overdosed on Pro. He started acting strangely ever since he started hanging around you two. He sold all his things just to buy drugs. He really wanted to help us. Oh, you help him, all right. You drove him to become an addict, a gang member. All he wanted to do was be journalist. Mrs. Ling, I'm so sorry. First, I couldn't protect me, brother. Now, Tiger, God damn it! Thank you, brothers. Shalom. Shalom. This is for Solomon. And get out of here. We'll take care of this. But we won't be able to have your backs tonight.
members that you know if we go in tonight, there's no turning back. I know. You ready for this? You think you can handle it? I guess we'll find out. May we have quiet, please, and we can begin. Silence, please, and we can begin. something really bad to get your invitation. <laughs> Y'all know the rules. Twice a year, fame sets a challenge to entertain himself by putting you through hell. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a simple street brawl. But then there was this savage fight of survival against wild animals. And who remembers the pistol duel to the death? Yet not many. <laughs> and you never know what it will be until you get here. Come on, please. No, sir, I will not. Not until I tell you what the winner gets. Either $30,000 or that same amount worth of pearl. And the loser? What does the loser get? Oh, no, I don't want to give away the surprise. But ask yourself, what would you risk? What's the challenge? Tell us. Yes, it is time. Not the gladiator challenge. It's Connect Four. The captain's mistress. It seems like a kid's game, but it's actually very mathematically complex. It's a zero-sum game, so even though it can be broken into optimal moves or sequences, any outcome is pretty optimal. I gotta do it, man. It's weird. You don't know what'll happen if you lose. What choice do we have? If I win, I get close to Fang. Your brother's life's in the balance. It's life or death. Good luck. That's it? Let us begin. And our hopes. As ever, bang! Thank you, Fang. And now, we welcome our house player, Yulo!
give him a hand. <laughs> plays a perfect game, always on offense, never makes a mistake. Will the last challenger take the prize? Or will the house win? What do you think? Bet. Stop! I'd like to go first, actually. Now, that is very interesting, because I do not remember giving you that option. Look, pal, if I lose, you can have both my fucking hands, okay? Proceed.
Zero sum. Congratulations, Mr. Uh, Booth. Congratulations, Mr. Booth. You already know who I am. A new face at our tournament. May I ask how you got your invitations? Oh, um, a friend of mine couldn't make it, so he gave me his. Oh, of course. How generous of your friend. Now, now, April, what's this? <clears throat> oh, yes. Your prize. So, Mr. Booth, what is your taste? $30,000? Or $30,000? Worth a pearl. I'll take the cash. I'm thinking about opening up a uh, youth center. Of course. So, two little flies have been caught in the spider's web. Little do they know that the spider's lair goes much deeper than they ever thought possible. Came here for me, brother. You came here for your brother? <laughs> no. You came here to die! And you... I'm not sure if you cheated or not, but Fang was quite impressed by your performance. Maybe you were drinking a magic potion. Or just lucky. No Guailo has ever beaten you long before. Unfortunately, your luck is about to run out. <laughs> And now, you are about to have the greatest privilege of all. Only those who are special enough to deserve it. As you most certainly know, Pearl has rapidly taken over the city. For 15 minutes at a time, people are giving an out-of-body experience, away from their real-life problems, an escape. Little do those peasants know, they aren't even using it properly. Ingesting Pearl orally is only scratching the surface of his true potentials, whereas directly injecting it into the bloodstream. The future is possible. Astral projection! <laughs> you see, I have found a way through ancient Taoist alchemy mixing pure, undiluted pearl with a guiding agent, separating consciousness from physical body and transporting it to a common plane. <laughs> You're fucking crazy. 
You're a dead man, Fang. What you're hearing are isochronic tones synchronizing our brain patterns. Like I said, you are very fortunate. Only a select few people have earned such a formidable death. And do not worry about your bodies. We will dispose of them properly. We always do. No one will ever find them. Us. Seems like he figured out a way how to force our consciousness out of our real bodies and bring them here to this common place. What did he say? Astral plane. Either way, we're here together. So, he must be here too. Yeah. found me quicker than most. As you probably gathered, there's no escaping from this plane. I have brought you here against your will for my own pleasure. Every time I return here, I become even stronger. Every time I kill someone here, I become even more powerful. Every time I exert my power, I become a god! <laughs> fucking insane! Look, Look around you! In order for insanity to exist, there must be reality. Is this crazy? No! This is my world!
I don't know anything about astral projection. Scientifically, it's not even recognized. I jerk off thinking of moments like this. What I do know is that allegedly, it's always voluntary. Whereas we were brought here against our will by the drug, Fang too. It's just that he's done this before and he's learned to master it. said, this isn't reality. We're only projections of our consciousness. Feng is only so strong because he thinks he is, or we're only scared because we think we're supposed to be. Fear is a prescribed response, but now, fuck. If we're not afraid, I think we can be as strong as him. Look, you just have to believe it. Like he said, no one will ever be stronger than him. But there's two of us. It hardly seems fair. My man, flex on. That was a lucky shot. When you will live to regret. Enough. 
I just had the strangest dream. That was no dream. Solomon. Can I do them? Let me do them, baby. It's my turn. Remember? I told you you were going about this all wrong. Acting alone? It was never gonna end well. You did it? You guys actually did it? Is he dead? It took me five months to get inside this close and you guys just blow it up in one night? All that work. You're welcome. You guys have no idea what you've just done. The implications of this will be massive. Are you a cop? No, dude, like I said, I was trying to tell you the other night. She's like a shapeshifter. You guys need to get the hell out of here. I'm gonna go make a phone call to break this party up, and you can't be here. I have to go. So, man, let's get Saul back. <laughs> Leslie. Leslie. Stop, that's scared him, let's go. Saul's dead. What? Feng killed him three months ago. I told you he was alive, so you'd help me. You never would have said yes if you knew he was dead. I lied to you, and I'm sorry. So all this was? The only thing keeping me going was revenge. I couldn't do it alone. And as you saw, no one wanted to help me. They knew it was a suicide mission. You were moved enough to not know. You're right, I was just off living my life with a girlfriend and a job. Clueless. Bringing down Feng was the only thing that mattered to me. And now, I don't know what to do. But it wasn't suicide, man. You're alive, baby. Yeah, I lie without purpose. Yeah, me too. But this is the most I've felt alive in years. Leslie, I lost a brother and son, but I think I gained one back in you, if you'll have me. I know you think I pressure you into doing things, but... We gotta go. reporting live. We're here at the scene of a massive criminal underground drug entertainment ring. Inspector McCormick, what exactly happened here tonight? Well, from the look of things here tonight is that we have shut down a massive drug operation and an illegal underground gambling enterprise. We've made many arrests. Additionally, we have seized several tons of the Pearl drug and believed to have pinpointed its direct source. And are there any details as to the parties responsible for bringing it down? At this point, I'm not at liberty to say, but what I can divulge is that this is the result of a joint operation between the RCMP, the OPP, and ourselves. All things considered, it's probably the biggest drug bust in our city's history. Hey, guys, what you got for me? True. Are you the guys responsible for bringing Feng down? What? Uh, we've heard from different sources for the past five minutes. Oh, well, it's pretty simple, really. Uh, me and my associate here came here to infiltrate a Chinese drug syndicate by way of a mysterious underground tournament to avenge his younger brother. Uh, however, our plans were greatly deferred when a maniacal drug lord with a penchant for theatrics transported our subconsciousness to a psychotropic hellscape to control with his mind. And while we kicked his mind's ass and escaped alive. Hell yeah, we did. I feel great right now. Jump 20 feet in here. Yeah. Right. That's so cool. Erica, what are you doing later? All right, that's enough. Why is the media still here? Section this off and get these guys out of here.
So you're not coming back? No. Well, are you going to jail? Like, do you have to do time or something? No. <laughs> Didn't you guys, like, kill a man, the drug lord? No, not really. I, I can't really talk about it anyway. We, uh, we signed a deal. A deal? With who? As a city, we're primed to be as environmentally conscious, safe, and drug-free as we possibly can. These fine young gentlemen are exemplary to people everywhere, and especially to those battling substance abuse. By risking their lives and getting these drugs off our streets, they have made an example we can all follow. But that's not all. Along with honoring them with the keys to the city, we felt it was important to distinguish what's happened for the next generation of young Canadians. In partnership with the government of Ontario and the Toronto Police, we'd like to welcome you to be the first to see our newest initiative. With the power invested in me here today, I hereby declare this Substance Abuse Awareness Day. Let's have our heroes say a few words, shall we? What do you think? Welcome, Toronto! Yes, zine, zine, zine. We just want to say that the people them are the true key to the city. Thank you. I'd also like to add that uh, announcing today we're opening our new PI firm, Goldstein Booth. So if you have any questions or you need any help with anything, Look us up in the new yellow pages. Uh, thank you. Did you park your horse outside? <laughs>